Hi, this is Arthur Wolchinski, Canada's ambassador to Norway. On February 29, 2016, I traveled to Finnmark in Arctic Norway to spend some time with Andres Oskal and Johan Mattis Turi from the International Centre for Reindeer Husbandry. This was an opportunity to experience, briefly, what life is like for Sami reindeer herder. Yes, the temperature was a crisp minus 15 degrees Celsius at Johan Matis's cabin, approximately 40 kilometers from Kautokaino and 10 kilometers from the Finnish-Norwegian border. The landscape here was stark and beautiful. Ice crystals in the air made everything sparkle. I learned that Sami people have over 300 words to describe snow. This is just a small example of the traditional knowledge that ties the Sami people to this place. Yeah? Do you see the tree? Yeah? It was the only. Uh, what do you call it? Tall? Pine. Pine tree here earlier. But now it's snappy here. Huh. So when I was child, we were. We to look of the. It was very interesting to see this tree. Johan Matis told us how when he was a boy, there was only a single pine tree in this remote area. Now pines are becoming more common, a possible indication of climate it's change. Just skin, and that's all. And huh. uh, never been cold. <laughs> I've been cold. <laughs> My bare hands are cold. <laughs> bare hands. After about 30 minutes on the snowmobiles, we caught up with the other herders who were with the main group of reindeer. Johan Mattis and his colleagues would use their snowmobiles to keep the herd together. They would direct any strays back to the main herd. Spending time with Johan Mattis and Anders allowed me to learn more about the issues that are important to them and the Sami people. These cut across a wide range of questions. For example, management of herds, the size of the herds, the management of the land that they are on, Predation, for example, the number and concentration of wolverines and other predators. Climate change, access to markets for reindeer products, and respect for traditional knowledge. It was a real privilege to spend a couple of days with Anders, Johan Mattis, and their fellow Sami reindeer herders. I felt it gave me a better understanding of this indigenous way of life, and I look forward to working with them over the coming years. For more information, Please follow me and the Canadian Embassy in Norway on Twitter or Facebook.